Hey guys, today we're gonna be launching a 3D printed Falcon 9 rocket to the edge of the stratosphere on a weather balloon. Now, a weather balloon is pretty cool. It's really just a giant latex balloon filled with helium or hydrogen or any light gas, and it slowly rises and carries up instrumentation. Now, the pressure, once you get up to 100,000 feet, which is where we're targeting to go, is so low that the gas expands so much that it pops the balloon, and then it comes down right on a parachute. Um, so on this, we have, of course, our 3D printed rocket. We have two GoPros and two trackers and a buzzer so we can hear it. We'll talk about that a little later. So for now, let's get ready for the launch. So right in here, there's a little 3D printed piece that the uh, end of the helium can fit into. And then around there, we're tying this piece uh, with some zip ties, and that's gonna attach the balloon itself to the rest of the payload. Uh, so we're gonna put these on, cut them off, and then wrap them with electrical tape so that it doesn't um, allow anything to pop. So right now, we are ready for launch, so we're just gonna slowly let up the balloon, and then we're gonna give it a countdown. This thing's gonna shoot up like a rocket. Ready? Three, two, one! Alright guys, and we got lift off. I'm ready. Alright, well we did pay for the entire tank, so we may as well get our money for it. Alright, so now let's go on an adventure and try to find this thing. Alright, so right now we got in the old turbo diesel truck, um, and we're on our way to go pick it up. We're going over Tampa Bay. Right now the balloon is, you know, well over the bay. It's in Brandon. So we're gonna go chill out the mall for a bit and uh, see where this thing's gonna land and then we're gonna go find it. Uh, so the launch went great, that thing flew up. Um, it's going, it's rising a little bit faster than uh, you know, we predicted, which is actually you know, a good thing. Um, well, well, it's better having too much lift and not enough lift. So yeah, now we're just uh, ready to get this thing. So we were waiting in the mall and the APRS was being funny, uh, so I don't know what's going on with that, but we just got a track from the spot tracker, so it's possible that it might have landed. So we're gonna head off there right now. Looks like it's in the middle of nowhere, but we should be able to find it. So the spot, we just got another track, two tracks that are right in the same location, so that means that it landed. So we're not too far away, maybe about 20, 30 minutes from where the landing is. So we're gonna go get it. Uh, I'm very excited, I'm so excited. I can't wait. So we'll see you guys once we get closer. We're at some like FWC public land thing, uh, but we're only about two miles away. So let's go. I'm still in reverse. All right, let's go find this thing. <laughs> we should be close. I am so, so excited. There's a wild hog just chilling right there in the road. This place is actually kind of cool. I kind of might need to go Parker. back here one of these days. Hopefully uh, Parker doesn't get <laughs> a vampire. Look, there's a whole family of them. 
the weather balloon is like in the brush a little further down. So uh, we're about to go walk down there and go grab it. This area is so beautiful. There's all these nice little lakes. Um, and Parker wishes he could be fishing right about now. We're almost there. We only have a few hundred more yards to go. So it's very exciting. I, uh, I can't wait. I'm so excited. According to our tracking, the weather balloon should be in those trees right over there. So we're right there. Now we just gotta find it and get it. And then we will be set. Do you hear that sound? Here, wait, that's all right. Try over here. There's a path over here. I don't care about a path. I see it. You see it? Yes. Where? Over here. Hey, wait, Chase, go back. He's got the oh. camera. I'm zooming in on it. <laughs> Is the GoPro still on there? Yeah, both of them. Both of them. All right, here you go. Can you reach it? Just try to get one of the holes. Yeah, oh, here, if you can get it to drop, just yank it. I'll right, try to catch it. almost down. This is going to fall on my face. <laughs> I'll try to catch it. Or you just hand it. You can maybe hand the pole to me and I can just try to yank it down. Yeah, yeah. Can you reach that? Yes. A little more. All right, just hold it, don't pull. All right, I got it. I uh, got it. You want me to pull? Oh. Let me just pull. Let's go! Help! Oh, shit! <laughs> hey, Let's go! go! We got it! <laughs> <laughs> we got it! Now we just gotta get out of here. <laughs> So right now we're trying to get the cameras out. So we got the one uh, Hero 5 out, and that looks pretty cool. And now Tyler is trying to beat it open like a caveman to try to get the other one out, but it's being a little finicky. Mm -hmm. Now I really want to give a big thanks to Bricks CAD for sponsoring this whole video. Now Bricks CAD is a CAD software that does both 2D and 3D modeling, and this whole base and uh, a lot of the other 3D printed parts were all modeled using Bricks CAD. Now it's both 2D and 3D, um, and it does a really great job at both of them, which is something that not many softwares uh, do. And in many ways, it's a lot better than the industry standards of like AutoCAD and SolidWorks, and it's way more affordable. So there's a free version, which I use to make all this stuff, and it's great for simple modeling projects, but the paid versions um, are way better and have a ton more features. Uh, so this video would not be possible without Bricks CAD. So if you want to take a look at them, there's a link in the description where you can check them out. Now before I go, I want to just go over this balloon a little bit and the different components. So of course we had the two GoPros that were sitting in here, and they have these extended battery packs so they can record for a lot longer. Um, and it also had hand warmers behind them to keep it nice and hot. Um, now, I don't think it quite worked super well because the batteries did freeze and didn't last quite as long as we'd hoped, but as you guys saw, we still got some really cool footage. Now for the tracking, we had the spot tracker, which is a satellite tracker. So it connects to a satellite and then relays it to the internet where you can look on it, and that's better for the ground tracking. And then for the tracking in the air, it uses APRS, which is this thing. It's called a Traxor. And what it does is it gets a GPS signal and then using the antenna, which have broken off, um, it relays it to a uh, ham radio network. And that ham radio network then puts that GPS signal on the internet along with the altitude and all sorts of other stuff. So this thing uh, kind of stopped working midway through the flight, but it was still really cool to get a lot of that data. Uh, so the rocket itself, of course, is 3D printed. And inside of here, we had a buzzer so we could kind of hear what was going on. Um, in addition to that, there's a big parachute to let it land slowly. And then of course we have the balloon. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, you know, it was a really fun video. Um, and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, then please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks. Parker, can you hold this so I can get these thorns off? No, don't be scared about thorns. We got a wedding balloon.
So now the balloon is ready. I swear, Parker. Yeah, I guess. Take a right. sip. What can I say? All right, let me. So now we're just getting. If you do not have a permit, turn around now. What are they gonna do? Like, 